This video is brought to you by IVC VPN. So guys, welcome to my 2019 setup tour. Uh, I've been meaning to do one of these for absolutely ages. Uh, people have been asking me this year. I think the last one I did was about two years ago. So well overdue. But uh, yeah, today I'm just going to walk you around my setup. So let's get into it. I think we'll start off with the desk because uh, I kind of modified this recently. Now, if you didn't see my setup before, um, this is an IKEA Calby worktop. It's the walnut one. And it sat on top of some Alex drawers. They're both from IKEA. Now, if you're wondering why the tabletop doesn't slide around, it's because I've actually got screws that are uh, drilled into the tabletop from underneath. So yeah, it stays in place, which is good. Now, again, my setup before, I actually had um, these drawers over here. I had them pushed right across to the edge um, because I used to have the PC sat underneath the desk. So everything can look symmetrical, but when I decided to put the PC on, on the desk, uh, I had to move the whole desk to the right so that it would have room. And the trouble with that was that the setup no longer looked symmetrical. So what I had to do was move those drawers inwards so that when you look at it from here, it still sort of looks symmetrical, which is awesome. And then obviously we've got a leg to support the edge of the desk. So that's the desk situation. Moving on, let's talk about the displays now. So obviously this is a quad monitor setup. Now, a little bit of advice, guys. Um, if you're thinking of doing one of these, don't put a massive TV on top. Um, it's a little bit stupid. Uh, the reason I sort of did this was one, because I thought it looked awesome at the time. And two, because I thought oh, I'll be able to like game on it and stuff but honestly guys this this is a 55 inch tv right when i sit in my chair in fact i'll show you now this is what i see i'm, I'm sat at my desk look and then i'm like oh i want to do some gaming and my neck guys my neck so uh, yeah i wouldn't <laughs> advise that you do this honestly um it's kind of a bit stupid although i don't really have any room to put the tv anywhere else um i did have it like with a sofa set up before now I do use this still for like watching movies on the sofa sometimes so it does come in handy but yeah I don't really use it as a monitor even though it is connected to the PC so yeah that's uh, my experience on that so that's the TV uh, coming down to the monitors we've got the Asus VN279 QLB monitors now these are 1080p 60 Hertz refresh rate so not the best, but um, I've had them a few years now and they've been quite good monitors. The reason I got them is because they have very thin bezels and um, they have display port and they're wall mountable as well. So uh, yeah, I do like them. They have been very good. Now you've probably noticed they are attached to the wall and um, they're all wall mounted with the same mounts. Uh, I get a ton of questions about these. Josh, where did you get these wall mounts? Um, they were actually from a company called Maplin, which uh, I actually used to work at Maplin for those of you that don't know. Um, but yeah, it was a little electronic store that used to be open in the UK. Um, unfortunately, they went bankrupt and shut down, so you can't buy these exact ones anymore. Um, but I will link in the description where you can get some that are basically identical. Um, they're all the same, but yeah, they just attach to the wall and then uh, stick your monitors on them. Now, while we are behind here, we'll just take a quick look at the, uh, the lighting. We've got Philips Hue play bars on the back of each monitor. I did have LED strips on there before, but uh, they weren't really that bright. So I went for the Philips Hue play bars, which are very expensive, but I kind of like them. They're very bright and uh, they hook up with the rest of my Philips Hue stuff. The cable management, I don't know if you're really going to be able to see this. I might try and do this. I'm using a gimbal. Um, yeah, obviously I have a power strip mounted here. There is actually some trunking as well. You probably can't see it, but about there. So I've tried to put most of the cables into that. So it's not too crazy at the back. Um, but yeah, obviously there is a lot of cables to hide. We've got like obviously a power cable and uh, a picture cable from each of these monitors. So it's pretty crazy. Anyway, moving on, I think we'll go to the peripherals now. So here we have the Elgato Stream Deck. I did a video on this uh, recently. It's very good, actually. I would recommend it, even if you're not a streamer. Um, moving on, we've got the Drivo Blade Master Pro keyboard. I get quite a lot of questions about this. Uh, the keycaps, by the way, are basically just ones that I grabbed off another keyboard I had and just stuck on there. So 
nothing special um this keyboard though it's about 120 quid which is kind of knocking like corsair flagship territory um i like it i mean obviously i got sent it to review so i didn't pay anything for it but i think it's a great great keyboard um it looks good and it's 10 keyless as well so it doesn't take up as much room as like a full size so yeah i'm going to be sticking with that for the time being i think um moving over to here we've got a wireless charger from anchor which this was probably one of the best things I've put in the setup, actually, because I, I never run out of battery now on my phone. Uh, every time I'm sat here, I just stick my phone on there and it fast charges. And yeah, I'm basically just always at 100%, which is great. Which, does that mean I'm sat at my desk 100% of the time? Who knows? Uh, moving on, we have the Logitech G902 mouse. I've had this for a good few years now. I did actually pick up a Corsair mouse recently, but I've actually stuck with this one because I like the feel of it. Xbox controller over there as well uh, while we are down here. I'll show you actually we'll do this first uh, This is my speaker system. So well speaker. It's the sound blaster katana. It's very good. Actually. It sounds epic guys I did a review recently. So check it out if you haven't already, but um, if we come down here, you'll see the sub which is uh, Pretty much wireless. Um, I'll show you underneath the desk as well. This is my epic cable management and uh, we've got a hue sensor there, so yeah, it doesn't look too bad. I mean, you can't see it anyway when you're, well, not underneath the desk. Uh, down here, we have my Logitech kind of steering wheel pedals. Um, so this is connected to the PC, like, all the time. So if I ever want to play, like, Forza or whatever, literally just set on my steering wheel, and then it's all ready to go, which is pretty cool. I forgot to mention the mouse pad. This is the um, Steel Series Prism RGB mouse mat. Uh, I really like this actually. I didn't know if I was going to like it when I when I got it at first, but yeah, I love it. It looks really cool. If I just show you behind my keyboard as well, uh, we have like a USB cable here, so I can uh, plug in my SD card when I need to and charge stuff because uh, obviously I, everything I use is wireless pretty much, apart from the keyboard. Um, We've got my headphones there as well. They are the Corsair Void wireless headphones and they're pretty good. I've had them for a few years. I picked up some HS70s a while back, but yeah, I haven't got around to really using them yet. So that's that. Now you may be wondering what this is. You, you've probably seen it's, uh, it's a camera already and a ring light, uh, but yeah. If you didn't already know, I set up a gaming channel recently, guys, Tesseract Gaming. You should go and subscribe if you're if you're not already, shameless self-plug, but uh, yeah, I've been playing some games on there. The reason I did this, I know it kind of makes the setup look a little bit, I don't know, not as tidy. There's a box in the way. I kind of had to do it. So basically, when I was trying to record gameplay before, I had to like set up a tripod on the desk and uh, set up my light. And stuff like that just makes you sometimes not want to record a video like because it's like effort to set everything up. And I think for like content creators, it's important that everything is just ready to go. So what I did was got a couple of magic arms mounted um, both of the things on top of here. So anytime I want to record now, I'll literally just sit down and hit record. Uh, I got an Elgato cam link as well. So this mirrorless camera is hooked up straight to the PC. So yeah, like I said, whenever I want to record, I just open up OBS Studio and it's all ready to go, which is fantastic. Um, same goes for the microphone arm here. So we've got a Rode condenser mic. So I just spin this round basically. When I want to record, that is also hooked up to the PC. So yeah, just super easy. And like I said, when, when I want to record a video, I just sit down and do it, which is uh, awesome. Now, I forgot to mention these things. Uh, I always get asked questions about these and it's uh, surprising how many people don't recognize what they are. Um, they are Oculus Rift sensors, so the uh, CV1 Rift, it's just those sensors. They do kind of look a little bit strange, but I've sort of gotten used to them because I've been in the setup for so long now. I did manage to obviously get the cables across to the PC without being able to see them, which was awesome. But uh, yeah, the Rift S is actually out now, which has inside out tracking, so you don't have to use sensors. So I think I'm gonna pick up one of them at some point. Uh, just so then we can make that part of the setup look a little bit cle cleaner. Uh, but yeah, that is that. Moving on over here, we've got obviously my uh, little light box thing over there just for decoration. We've got the Apollo 11 from uh, Lego. This was actually really fun to build and uh, it's pretty massive as well. It's a pretty, 
pretty big Lego model. Uh, but yeah, anyway, I know you guys want to see the PC, so let's take a look at the PC. Uh, yeah, this is my PC. So this was built in March, I think. Yeah, March. Uh, it's got the PC-011 dynamic case from Lian Li. We've got an i9, 9900K. I'm just going to move this mic arm out of the way so I can show you guys. Let me sit down as well. My arm's falling off. I'm using a gimbal. Yeah, so we've got the Li An Li case. We've got uh, the i9 9900K, which is overclocked to 5 gigahertz. We've got 32 gigabytes of Corsair Vengeance Pro RAM, along with the Castle 360EX cooler from Deepcool, along with some Corsair LL120 fans and a GTX 1080. So, I mean, the rest of the system is pretty beast, apart from the graphics card. I am wanting to upgrade that soon. We'll probably be getting the 2080 Ti, I think. Um, but yeah, once we've upgraded that, it should be absolutely beast. Always get questions about this thing. This is a light box. Um, it's from a company called Cold Zero International. They make uh, like mod parts for cases and stuff. But uh, yeah, it just hooks up to a RGB header on the motherboard and you can do lots of different effects through your motherboard software. But yeah, it just adds a nice little extra touch to the build i think i do need to do a bit of cable management as well um just because i don't know the cables could look neater i think i need to like cable tie them up but yeah we'll have to do that in another video uh on top of the pc we've got some color light or colo light whatever um led panels i did a review of these i actually didn't recommend them in the end because they're just too expensive and they feel kind of cheap but they they do look kind of cool so i just took them on top of that um if there's any guitarists among you which i don't know is surprising sometimes uh this is the strandberg pliny edition guitar um if you didn't know i am a guitar teacher so well it's not like my second job um so yeah i got this a year ago and i like it a lot it's a pretty cool guitar anyway uh let's talk cable management now then so all of my cables basically sit under here uh, not the cleanest but you know you can't see them which is the main thing and uh, if you look up here we've got there we go fixed now uh, yeah if you look up here we've got a piece of cable trunking which basically takes all of the cables that come from the monitors and uh, shoves them into there and then that kind of just drops down behind the pc um, i'll show you guys around the corner yep and then obviously all the cables go into the pc and some of them go underneath. Um, so yeah, that's the cable situation. Uh, let's talk about the chair now, because I always get quite a lot of questions about the chair. I'm just gonna move this out of the way. Here we go, so this is my chair. It's, uh, it's actually an ergonomic chair. Um, I had a GT Omega racing gaming chair before, which was pretty comfy, but after two years, it had kind of completely broken, um, wasn't very comfortable anymore and it was really squeaky. So I actually opted for an ergonomic chair this time. This is the Storm Mark II chair. I believe it's only available in the UK, but uh, it's about 300 pounds. So kind of on the higher end of the scale. But yeah, it's very, very comfortable if you're doing work. Um, I wouldn't recommend it if you do a lot of gaming because you just can't really relax in it. It makes you sit quite upright. But yeah, it does support your back and uh, I do like it, but I think I might actually get a gaming chair at some point as well so that I can just switch between the two. And finally, guys, while we're here, let's talk potential future upgrades for the setup. Now, you guys will have to let me know in the comments what you think of this suggestion. But um, what I actually tested recently was uh, I dragged the two outer monitors like a little bit further out to see if I could fit a 35 inch ultra wide monitor in the middle and uh, surprise surprise it, it will actually fit so yeah the uh, monitor i was thinking of getting was a uh, 35 inch yeah ultra wide 120 hertz uh, 1440p so massive upgrade on this thing because like i said this is 60 hertz and uh, 1080p but um yeah the thing is about 35 inch ultra wide as well is it's pretty much exactly the same height as these ones so it would kind of all flow quite nicely i think uh, but yeah if we did that We'd also have to get a new graphics card, uh, hence why I want to get like the 2080 Ti, but we'll just have to wait and see. So let me know if you guys want to see me do that. Um, if I was to do it, it'd probably be at the start of next year at some point. We'll just have to see. 
Uh, but yeah, that is it, guys, for the 2019 setup tour. I hope you enjoyed. Drop us a like rating if you did. I'd appreciate that. And subscribe if you're new and you want to see more. With that being said, guys, I hope you all have a good week, and I'll catch you all in the next one.